Uh, hi, hello. Uh, today I want to introduce you a cool project. Uh, this project is hosted on the GitHub. Uh, it's called uh, eCapture. And uh, so it uses the kernel uh, eBPF technology uh, user space uh, problem to uh, capture uh, SSO or TLS uh, clear text content uh, without uh, the SSO certificate. So yes, it, it describes uh, how it work here in this page. So I'm going to uh, give you a demo and uh, see how it works. So this is my uh, Kubernetes cluster node. And um, I, have, um, inst I have installed the uh, eCapture. And uh, so I have, um, so that's, me log in my master node. So this is my master node. And I wanted to use eCapture to capture a container uh, TLS traffic. So let's find our pod first. So for example, if I wanted to uh, capture the TLS collection for this part, so this is a F5 container ingress part to manage the uh, virtual configuration on big IP uh, and to and take the uh, object from the Kubernetes cluster to configure virtual configuration on the big IP. So it, uh, this, this part, it has a SSO collection to the big IP. And uh, so I'm going to use the uh, eCapture to capture the TLS traffic uh, to the big IP. And uh, let's see if we can see the, uncover the clear text of the SSO collection. So, uh, first, I'm going to find the, so the eCapture, you can use the, so this is a command I'm going to run. And so you can give the eCapture uh, argument like a dash dash lib SSO to specify your SSO library uh, pass. So, but first we need to find out where the uh, F5 container ingress part, the container is the uh, uh, lib SSO pass. So we can find out from, from Docker PS. Uh, so this is our, uh, the Kubernetes big app controller part, the CLS part. Uh, so this is where the, the Docker containers uh, uh, actual file are located. So once we found the, the Docker's container file location directory, we can look at it, look into this uh, directory. And uh, so th those are all the uh, CIS containers uh, files and the directories. So we can uh, use find command to find where the uh, lib SSO library for, for this container. Okay, so we have uh, this uh, lib SSO library that is used by the CIS container 
so now we can use the uh, e capture. And uh, so this is our, this is how I run the e capture on the load to capture the CS containers. Um, CS containers uh, SSO collection. So this is the, now I'm going to do a trigger some uh, request uh, through the CIS. So let's say, let's apply um, config map. Uh, okay, let's deploy a to generate some traffic. And then so that this CIS part will take the config map resources from the Kubernetes cluster and send the resources to the big IP uh, through SSO collection. So as you can see here now, we have uh, some uh, uh, clear text, uh, which should be encrypted if uh, SSO encrypted, if you run TCP down on the wire, but on this node, I use the eCapture uh, without uh, any SSO certificate, private key or, or cert, I can uh, see the clear text, uh, use the uh, uh, eCapture. So for example, here we have a, a get a request and then we can see this uh, F5 uh, auth token. And then we also have um, server response 200 OK, right? So it's all clear text. And uh, so this is a, a interesting uh, project. So actually I also found an issue here to just ask uh, like, can we trace TLS TLS collection in the container, and uh, and this is the the steps I performed to capture a containers a TLS collection. Okay, so actually the author mentioned that uh, with this uh, e capture, uh, if you you can have a container running a, a cluster and then the container can escape uh, uh, out of the cluster and again the gain the uh, uh, the main permission on the load and then you can have the container to uh, uh, sleep uh, SSO collection you are interested uh, running in the node so and uh, he gives a link here and it, it is interesting to watch. Okay, yeah. So that's what I want to quickly talk about uh, about this uh, project. Uh, it's pretty cool to use uh, eBPF uh, technology for user space tracing. Okay, thank you.